Hey, Chris. Hey. What you got here? Well, it's a new truck I picked up. Um, 1980 Toyota, long bed. And I built it for a guy about eight years ago, right before I started with Nitro. And uh, he decided he didn't want it anymore, so I bought it from him. Let's take a look at this thing. What all did you do whenever you uh, first got it in and you started working on it? Was it in stock form or was it already lifted yeah, like this? Or? it was kind of in stock form. They started a SAS kit on the front to uh, basically to build it like this. And so we did more or less a frame off restoration. Everything's been sandblasted, powder coated, painted. Um, it's got a trail gear rear housing with the e-locker nitro 529s in them a front stock housing high pinion 529s with arb and it's got a i think they're dave's off-road springs i say they're five or six inch bill steams all the way around it um, transfer case brake, disc brake rear conversion, bigger disc brakes in the front, Dana 60 front hubs, and it actually has regular axles in the front end, except, you know, compared to Burfields, which I don't like. I may swap them back to Burfields. Um, IFS steering box, that's tapped for hydro assist. And it's got dual transfer cases. So it goes really, really slow. With uh, RA Designs triple sticks. So you see it's got a ratchet shifter in it. It's been, uh, I converted it to a 4.3, the 700R4. Everything was new. It's got 5,600 miles on it. Uh, DC Fab built me an internal roll cage that went through the dash. So I had to do some modification of the dash and rock sliders. You did the sliders as well? Correct. Nice. And they're all welded in the frame. I had everything powder coated all in one shot. The DC Custom Fab is also the guy who did the chassis for the four-seater buggy. Correct. Very nice. I had some uh, interior folks I know make me new door panels with red stitching. Oh, yeah. And a new headliner with red stitching. Still looking for some black interior parts. That's a nice little detail. So it's a, that swapped over to auto meter gauges. What I'm saying is the stock uh, instrument cluster housing. And I cut all the crap out of it and stuck a piece of plate in it with the gauges. Custom front bumpers. It had a custom rear bumper, but somebody liked it more than this kid did. So they took it. So it's got a 4.3 Vortec V6. It is the first gen, which isn't desirable, but it seems to work. ARB high output compressor. It still has a compressor on the motor, but that does not function as anything but an idler for the belt. Got a 38, 14, 50, 17s, uh, the Goodyear Wrangler MTRs. But I'm getting a little older, so I think I'm gonna put shorter tires on it and lower it down a little bit. <laughs> Let's kinda, see you get into it, it's, it's pretty tall. Hard, it's kinda hard to get into. Yeah, this thing is tall. Well, it's uh, how old people do it. <laughs> oh, you got a racing harness and everything in there. 
That's the only seat belt it has. Nice. But they are the retractable. The guys, uh, the guys that I built it for, his mom wanted me to put airbags in it. So it could lower down. Thing. Yeah. So in case you got into an accident, but I told her no, I can put a cage in it and uh, these kind of seat belts. Gotcha. So, which made her happy. But I've touched every nut, bolt, screw, everything on this truck. It's probably so, nice to have it back in your possession since you put so much blood, sweat, and tear into it. It is. I just hated to, to see it go to somebody else, so. Yeah. This thing is sweet. Added remote start, uh, alarm system, and all that. <laughs> it has remote start and security? Wow. Yep. Amazing. So it looks like you have plenty of buttons up there, too. Yeah. It's got, it's rock, got some rock lights it's and got some auxiliary rock lights, lights and uh, front fog lights, backup lights, front locker, rear locker, compressor. Oh, it's got a fan cutoff switch in case you get in the water. However, I don't think I'll really be taking this thing anywhere where I'm going to be using it all nasty. Oh yeah, definitely. It's because I'm lazy and I don't want to clean it. So. <laughs> so I've seen other people set their suspension this way in the rear. Could you kind of tell me why people do this or? Uh... The only reason they do it is because somebody makes this tube that goes from side to side. Yeah, that's how they are. So why, I don't know. Better or not. Gotcha. This is a lot of the older yep. Toyota All the pickups. Yep. I think these folks are the only ones that make it. I think it's trail gear. Gotcha. I'm not 100% sure. Cool. So, yeah, custom drive lines front and rear just because they had to. Yeah. Yeah. This little back hoop, that's cool. Yeah, that's the mud flaps. Those do come off. It's got two pins and you can take them off. They had them on the front, but I'm still waiting to get those back if they're still around. Hopefully we'll get to uh, do a video of you rolling this thing through the woods off road. Yeah. As long as it doesn't get scratched up. Yeah. Well, thanks for giving us a little walk around. This is a you sweet bet. truck. Thank you. You want to get in it and drive it back over to the shop while I film you? Sure. All right, cool.